How's it going everybody? My name is Artori Gold and I'm a top 500 player and today I'm going to be going over how to play Symmetra. I'm doing it on a Smurf account somewhere in the diamond range. So one of the first things that I do with Symmetra, um, you kind of want to do this at the beginning of every game. If you're on defense especially, you want to get to a spot, immediately put your turrets down in a spot. So I'm just going to play like three turrets right here. Lunar Colony has two main areas where people will come from. And what you want to do is, is you want to try and put turrets up at the beginning of the game before the game starts. So then you can go ahead and get your cooldown going on these three turrets. So basically what these three turrets are going to do right here, they will help build you that alt charge. And then the enemy team will most likely destroy them pretty quickly. But at the same time, while this is doing damage to people that are coming in through here, you're able to charge up right clicks and you're able to do it easier because these things are going to slow the people that are here. You want to get here as fast as you can so you can make sure that your cooldown and your turrets is set right up um, as soon as possible. So you can use them immediately just in case something goes wrong. So here I'm just going to spam some right clicks and then I'm going to use my teleporter to just escape. I see that they have like a Hanzo. I wanted to think, and, and again we see the, the Winston also leaps up here. You don't want to be alone. Usually never be alone, right? As any, any character, if you're not a very independent character, then you don't want to just be there alone. You want to be with your team. And so I'm going to use the teleporter to leap out. And what's really nice about this is I actually bait out the Winston bubble. So now his bubble is gone. And I think that's a pretty long cooldown. That's actually one of the more larger cooldowns. Um, so I don't have to worry about that for some time. And another thing with the teleporter is you can use it pretty often. It's a fairly quick cooldown. And the enemy team will not get any value out of destroying it. Doesn't give them ult charge or any of that thing, uh, anything like that. So that's something to keep a note with it. So here I noticed all my teleporter or, or all of my sentries are dead. I just put up new ones, usually on the point. Your teleporter can be used by anybody. And another interesting thing about it is, is you can send your teleporter and then you could put and shoot your sentries through the teleporter as well and they'll appear where the teleporter is which is an interesting little way for you to harass people in the back line and to gauge on them and then use the teleporter to escape after you got the kill or just to retreat if it becomes a little bit too dangerous your teleporter is also really great at getting to uh, pieces of high ground that you normally would have to walk like a really long uh, ways away um so here i'm gonna unfortunately take my uh a little peek out through the barrier and the widow gets an extremely good headshot on me so unfortunately uh, it was kind of a mistake i was trying to get my left click damage on her i just was kind of underestimating my opponent so now you have your ultimate so your ultimate is this like infinite expanding wall and you want to use it to kind of just help defend your team against any projectiles it's really good if you're able to use it like while on a point um, you can shoot through it but the enemy can't um, one thing to note here is you can just completely melt divas with your left click just like a zarya can melt a diva you can also melt a diva and then it increases your damage of your left click because you'll get a ton of ramp damage so i'm going to move my sentries one of the things you can also do with your right click, as you can see right here, is you can actually just spam them. They do a little bit of like AoE, a little bit of splash damage, as you see where I hit them there. They do AoE damage, so they can deal a lot. So here's something interesting about barriers. Um, it's kind of it's kind of crazy. I don't know if you if you'll notice if you look at my ammo. So when you shoot at a barrier. Um, it's not really effective because you don't do that much damage to barriers, but with the Symmetra, as you do damage to a barrier, your your beam damage will ramp up, which normally wouldn't happen unless you were attacking enemy, but they changed that. So now every time you attack a barrier, your damage is just ramping up like crazy, and then you also get ammo back from doing it as well. As you see, I'm at 31 right here. As I'm shooting it, I'm actually gaining ammo. And then I actually start my ramp up damage earlier. So I'm going to go ahead and put a wall up. Great ways to use walls is that like you don't want to do it at um, like a straight angle. For example, so what you want to do is, is you want to do it at an angle where it's going to block the most damage. The best way to do it would be either be at a diagonal angle or at a sideways angle. So anybody trying to shoot at from this angle is going to have a very tough time uh, dealing damage. But if you do it at a, um, a straight line angle, 
It's only going to prevent damage coming in from this area or maybe this area, but it's not going to stop much damage coming in from here because all they need to do is just sidestep it to the left or to the right. But if you're also on the point, it allows you uh, an area as a person that you can kind of just move in between left and right here. And so you can dance in between the barrier, which can help protect you as well. So diagonals are pretty decent. I would say it kind of depends on the situation, but you see how I'm like dancing in between that barrier for a bit there. And that's what the rest of my team can do. And I'm also just going to put some more sentries up. As you can notice, your barrier has, I think, five, yeah, has 5,000 health. And there's only a few things in the game that could probably get through that. Even a full bastion holding down left, left click and turret mode probably won't be able to get through it very quickly. Um, I think the only thing that gets through it pretty quickly is Roadhog's ultimate actually can tear through it. Um, if you help, if other people are helping as well. But... Really, it's very unlikely any damage is going to come through there. So here, once your left click damage is just busted and ramped up, you're just going to melt everybody. So that's basically your entire goal, is to do as much left click damage as possible, which is really good against tanks, um, because they have so much health and they usually don't have ways to block it. And even if they do, your their barriers are actually just going to increase the left click damage that you do as well. So here, your turrets can do a lot of work on the point, especially if they're uncontested. And as you notice, just melting through people, you're basically like a, a high energy Zarya, just extremely deadly. And it's really difficult for the enemy team to do anything about you. So we're going to go off on attack. We did really well on defense. I will say Symmetra, um, here's a really good teleporter, by the way. I mean, it probably doesn't need that much explanation, but I mean, this is one of the big choke points and, you know, We'll pause to a moment where her hand is in the way but there's this big area and gap here where the enemy team is going to be on the high ground over here and they're going to be shooting down at you and so you can use your teleporter to basically just minimize the damage that you're going to take from the enemy team for example if there was a Widowmaker here and she had a big sniper rifle you know uh with a little scope on top of it and uh, a little little gun right and she had a little pony ponytail and so you have Widowmaker here and she's going to be shooting at anybody who's trying to cross this uh, high ground right here so one of the things you can do is you can use your teleporter to make it so she doesn't even have the opportunity to shoot you so you can just use this instead which is really nice so bam and you're going to poke for a little bit so one of the things that you could do uh which is something i didn't because i didn't really respect the enemy team but i could have just waited for another teleporter and i could have just teleported up here and then i could have avoided this line of sight completely if i waited for my cool down on the teleporter i didn't respect the enemy enough for this um so i didn't do it and luckily it paid off because they don't have a Widowmaker or a hanzo anything with a one-shot potential so here what i'm gonna do is is i'm gonna like slowly claim territory asymmetra i'm gonna not use all three i'm gonna just use two right and so the reason i'm only using two is because i'm going to slowly claim my territory so having these two uh turrets right here is basically going to make it so if anybody tries to come in from this area and push me i can have my turrets attack them and i'm going to be able to defend this area from them pretty effectively but i don't want to stay in this area i just want to make sure to deny this area for the enemy team so all i'm doing with symmetra is slowly moving up with my teleporters setting up two sentries keeping one just in case i find a better territory to move to pretty quickly with my new teleporter because it's almost off cooldown and then I'm gonna just keep firing right clicks until I get into left click area I'm just gonna slowly do right clicks and chip damage see I use the other one because now what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to push forward and claim this ramp to be my own territory so that's what I'm trying to do here I'm trying to deny this Orissa this position and see right there she jumped down and we have a, uh, an unfortunately a, a little um, a, a dead Torbjorn here. So we got a pick on that. And there, I see, we also have a pick on the Zenyatta. So not only do we have the ramp, which is good positioning, and the enemy team is now down here. They're also down a Zenyatta and down a Torbjorn. So we're in a pretty good standing right here. So here, here I'm going to start getting a lot more aggressive. I'm going to start putting sentries on the point and start chipping away with my right clicks. And we just move in and take the point extremely easily. 
I mean, that's that's all there is to it. Symmetra is a very, very simple character. She has a lot of potential for some 900 IQ plays. If you have a team who is willing to work with her and her teleporter, um, that's not always the case because I know she's not a very meta character and a lot of people will get upset if you choose her. So be prepared for that. Um, but I mean, if you're playing on defense, I think nobody's going to complain about a Symmetra on defense. Things to take away with Symmetra at the beginning of the game, be very slow paced, slowly take over uh, new areas of territory with your teleporter and sentries, and then move to newer and closer areas to the objective. Make sure to take use of enemy barriers. If you shoot at an enemy barrier, it will ramp your damage up really quickly with your left click, and you will actually gain ammo by doing it. So take full advantage of that against enemy tanks. Use your ultimate to deny the enemy. Don't ever put it in like a straight line unless you're like in full panic mode and you really need to do it for your team. One thing that you can do is if you're in spawn but your team is having a tough time taking an objective, either attack or defense, and you think they can win it, you can actually use your ultimate from spawn because it is an infinite reaching wall and you can try to position it from uh, where you're, wherever you respawn to the actual objective itself, which should help your team. Make Make sure to use your sentries and keep three up at all time. It's very important. They do a lot of damage and they are kind of a lot more durable. They're much more durable than they used to be. Overall, I think that's all I have to say about Symmetra. I don't play her too much, but maybe I will more in the future, and hopefully I can share any more tips that I have with her with you guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed and learned something. Let me know what you guys thought. Please leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.